In my last video, I briefly talked about the American cheetah and how it has often been considered a driving factor for the pronghorn's high speeds. However, new research suggests that this may not be the case and that the American cheetah might not be as cheetah-like as we once thought. Myrosinonyx has been compared to the African cheetah, asinonyx, due largely to factors such as possessing relatively long legs and a short face. The two are not closely related though, with the former being a close relative of the American mountain lion. Recent studies suggest that Myrosinonyx was not as specialized for high-speed pursuit as the true cheetah, retaining retractable claws, having more mobile forelimb joints, and lacking any special brain cooling mechanisms, though this might also reflect a cooler climate. Additionally, the American cheetah often lived in locations that would make straight line chases very hard, such as the Grand Canyon and other steep terrain where it perhaps acted more like the snow leopard, though this does not preclude it from also employing high-speed tactics down in the valleys. In terms of driving pronghorns to becoming the fastest land mammals in the Americas, pronghorns did make up the 40% of their diet, but they also made up the same percentage of the American lion's diet, meaning they were not exclusively predated on by myrosinonyx. Additionally, the rise of expansive grasslands in the Miocene led ungulates to adopt long slender legs adapted for long distance migration and speed, some 20 million years before pursuit predators like cheetahs and myrosinonyx even evolved. It's possible that the wide range of the pronghorn necessitated crossing vast distances quickly and efficiently, and it may have already been adapted for high speeds before the American cheetah even came onto the scene. Science is always changing, and it's important to stay up to date with the research because something you might accept as true one day can always be disproven the next.